Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my All right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 193 pounds. Fighting out of New Orleans, Louisiana, USA, Boom Boom. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. You ready? fight fans and rightfully so but when we show up in london it's a sellout within five minutes every time regardless of who's fighting the english fans show up they love fights they're very understanding they show up every single time they're knowledgeable they're ready to cheer but don't be crazy they will boo you out of that building all right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Nice punch land over the top. Nice defense there. Huge block. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. The Korean 
Superboy gets caught with that punch, he'd be wise to get those hands up. Just missed with the straight left hand. Nice kick. Nice. Leg kick. Oh, misses with the jab. Big ball punch land. I don't get back to range. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. And he landed the right hand there. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Great punch. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, you man. Check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Oh, big elbow. Punch coming, it's blocked. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Big body kick land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? That right hand landed. Just out of range with that right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Ooh, big shot land. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just misses with the jab. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. How good is that right hand? Way to hide that leg kick. That kick blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ten seconds now to go in the round. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Quite a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Powerful leg kick lands. Blocks the shot. Beautiful head kick. Oh, 
Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Throws the right hand there. Just misses. This fight's got to go with this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, but he's going low. And now he's got to hurt very bad. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Big punch land. Just misses there with the left. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, no! I mean, geez, Louise. So next with a right. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch, Lance. How about that chin? Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Doing a really good job of throwing those leg kicks. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Checks that leg kick. Oh man, head to win. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. Big leg kick land. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, he continues to do a nice shot here defensively, protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Kick land. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. 15 seconds to go. Nice leg kick. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of locking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was
was a pretty good round. Not every round is gonna have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh! Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at how he turned his hip over when he throws that kick. Real sneaky body kick. Nice punch there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he's the taller fighter, able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Slips that left hand. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, big punch land. Pretty good right hand. Missing on the high kick there. Big kick. Well, not a ton behind it, but that knee landed right on the wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Wow! What a performance! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 51 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Boom, boom. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.